What's up guys, welcome to another episode of serverless.net. Uh, this is episode 13 and today we're going to be looking at deploying our code to AWS using GitHub Actions. So um, I've already gone and um, worked out how to how to do this. So um, rather than me faffing around, um, you know, trying to get it to work, I, I kind of did this ahead of time. So um, what we need to do, there's a, there's a couple of things that I found out. Um, installing CDK, um, this line here on Ubuntu doesn't seem to work at the moment. So I switched to Windows and it, and it works. So for now, I think I'm just going to um, change our pipeline here to use Windows. And I'll have to investigate why it's not working with Ubuntu uh, at the moment. Um, so yeah, so if we switch over to here and look at our um, CI CD pipeline, the next step we're going to need to do is publish our code. So if we say um, publish with .NET, so we just need to do .NET publish, it's that line, and then we're going to, uh, where are we, .NET publish, and now we want to do setup CDK, so let's just, um, copy this in to save time. So set up CDK, so we're installing it globally um, using npm i for install and dash g for global. Um, and even though we're using uh, this action setup.net, um, it, it happens to have npm on there as well because this, um, this workflow is actually for installing asp.net and I'm, I guess that some people still doing um, websites where they, they need to build the .NET code and they need to build build their JavaScript and CSS and stuff like that. So that's why it's got Node there. So we've got setup CDK, uh, and then we want to do npm install. You can pipe, um, like in this run thing here, you can actually do like a, a pipe uh, like that. I don't know, like, uh, what's going on here? Oh, uh, this keyboard's funny. Um, yeah, you can um, do like a block and have a bunch of commands on it, but I prefer to have each one on its own line, uh, just so that um, you know you you know exactly where you are uh, in the build process. So uh, we've got npm install. And then this npm run build, that's actually going to do uh, this bit here. So it's going to use TypeScript to build our CDK code. Um, so yeah, let's do that, npm run build. And then we want our last step, which is deploying uh, to AWS. So um, you'll notice in here it says EMV, so that means environment variables. So uh, for our CDK code to be able to deploy, we're going to need our AWS secret uh, key, access key, and also which region you're wanting to deploy to. So um, I've included a couple of links here, um, uh, which I have open up here. So you can... Um, Pass in secrets and they can be stored. So if we go to settings for your repository and go down to secrets, um, I've set up these secrets ahead of time so that you don't see what my keys are. And then if you jump over to this bit here, context and expression syntax for GitHub and look down, there's some stuff about um, about secrets here. So enables access to secrets, set in repository. Uh, it says for more information about secrets, see virtual environment. So we jump over here. Um, and so there's more documentation about everything. Um, so these are just things like environment variables that all GitHub um, actions will have available um, yeah 
So anyway, um, should probably go and read that um, offline. Anywho, so back in here, um, when we do our CDK deploy, we, we're going to need these environment variables. So let's grab all of that, chuck it in here, and that's pretty much all we need, I think. So um, we are on our develop branch. Um, we're going to be just doing these builds on develop. So let's commit these things. So let's say episode, we on episode 13. Episode 13, yep. And we're wanting to say, what did I do in my last commit? Okay. Adding GitHub. Actions for deploying code to AWS. So if we commit that and push, jump back to our actions. <clears throat> Wait for this to run. I've also got over here CloudFormation open so that we can see the deployment start happening in here as well. <coughs> One thing I also noticed um, in the last episode where I was talking about um, this trigger is for on push to a branch. There's also another trigger you can do, which is on pull request. So you could say, um, and then you say branches, and then in here we would say uh, develop. So what that would say is, you know, if someone does a pull request into the develop branch, it's going to work, it's going to run this flow here. Um, yeah. All right, let's jump back over here. Still building. Cool if there's some way we could cache all the downloading of the new get packages. I'm not sure if that's possible or not, but it would definitely speed up the builds because you can see how fast these other steps take. All right, so now setting up CDK, so that's running um, npm install AWS CDK. The other thing um, it's worth pointing out is for each command here that we run, there's uh, GitHub um, have your command that you had just here. So you can see like how they're running that command, um, which is kind of handy. So you don't have to jump through all the logs to see um, 
I don't know, to find the command that you ran. Um, so where we've got build.net, just says .net build, config configuration debug, that kind of thing, it's pretty handy. Um, cool, so it's npm installs run, npm builds run, so look, starting our deployment, cdk deploy. Uh, look, it's creating CloudFormation change set. There you go, no changes. Huh. It's actually because um, before I did this episode, I, I ran a deployment. So if we look in here and I do a refresh, um, yeah, probably what I should do is actually change some code so it redeploys it. But, but there you go, that's the output from the CDK and it connected to CloudFormation and we're all good. Cool, so next episode I think what we want to do is create a another pipeline for released branches where we deploy it to a separate region. So at the moment we're deploying to Sydney, so we want to have our production stack maybe somewhere else. Um, and well actually before that we need to do our integration tests, so we'll be back in Visual Studio adding some integration tests and then yeah, if we do a uh, push to the develop branch or pull request to develop, we'll actually um, run our integration tests as well. And if all that, if that, all that's good, then what we'd do in our normal Git flow would be take a release branch off develop, and then that would have a yeah slightly different workflow so right now we've got a secret called default region so maybe what we would have is our develop region and our production region something like that anyway cool thanks for tuning in uh, until next time see you later